bunny on top of an anvil. Why an anvil? Eh. Mm. This drawing is actually based on the outline, the silhouette, if you will, of a famous cartoon character. Now, take a look at it, see if you can figure out which Cartoon Network, I'll give that away, Cartoon Network cartoon character we're actually seeing here. Look at the ball. Count the ball. I think I'm done with sus for today. I was kind of seeing a bunny shape in it and a bit of an anvil shape. So figured I just combined the two. It's a little far-fetched, but here you go. This is what I came up with for the silhouette of Dexter. Uh, so this one, uh, I've seen this thing before. I don't really know where it's from. Shame on me, I probably should know. I don't know if it's an Adventure Time one, or a regular show one, or a different show entirely. Uh, those things kind of, those things sticking out at the sides of the back kind of struck me as barnacles. So that was kind of the first thing I tried, but it wasn't like, I didn't really manage to even sell myself on the idea of like a rock. It's something you'd see under the sea, like some type of rock covered in barnacles. You know, maybe some lost uh, sea diver fermented in the stone or whatever so I did another thing uh, where I just I just went for a bizarre chicken monster with like way too many combs or oh, uh, what are those things called combs I think and I kind of gave it this burlap sack body almost like it's trying to escape or it's like multiple chicken abominations trapped into one get these freakish legs sticking out here it is with full shading. Here's another one. I honestly, I don't know where this one is from either, to be honest. Someone's gonna have to help me out in the comments there. I went for a creepy, kind of like amateurish or primitive totem pole construction. Tried to give it a bit of a wood texture. Um, yeah, creepy totem pole. Lol. The first thing that came to mind with the Ice King was that the arms kind of could be seen as ears. Kind of like dog ears or some type of ear. I ended up pushing it into more of a Scoob direction. Uh, when I looked up a reference for Scooby, I was kind of struck by how weird his mouth is. It's like kind of weirdly human. Yeah, and then for the Ice King's crown, um, I was thinking of the, the old classic Looney Tunes tunes. Or sometimes you would see a character getting hit with a hammer and then a lumps appear on top of lumps. So that's kind of what ended up with Scoob. Uh, then I decided to try a program I haven't tried before. This is Kira. I'm completely unskilled with it. But I went for uh, a landscape. It's not the best one out of them. But uh, I just wanted to try something else besides Flash. Mr. McDonald's house.